Hi everybody and welcome back to the channel International. My name is Andrew and today we play some Hearts of Iron 4. I'm gonna play with the Soviet Union because that's my favorite faction in uh, Hearts of Iron 4. I played it already a few years ago on this channel and as you know I've not been so consistent in the last months but I want to try again and I want to let's say uh, be consistent again so I'm gonna bring um, an entire gameplay I'm, I'm playing fully vanilla so I'm not going to uh, do too many cuts uh, and editing nevertheless I will also avoid you the boring stuff so let's get started with the opening of Soviet Union we start only with three reserve slots so that's not ideal but I'm also trying to quickly uh, catch up and uh, focus 3 will allow us to do that we are also we're lucky because we start with a pretty decent industry and I am going to uh, develop as much as possible uh, my civil industry first and then I will move into military industry the first national focus well the tree is a giant but I'm going to try a path of the center most likely or maybe we'll pick Trotsky I'm gonna decide later on okay <laughs> so we have already some light tanks we have already some good equipment what I'm going to do I'm going to delete all those airplanes because they are absolutely useless I'm going to delete all those uh, uh, light ships and I'll keep just the destroyer for the time being which I'm going to assign to the Baltic fl uh, fleet but beside of that everything looks good I have to sign the military factory as you can imagine we start and we are pretty poor we don't have a lot of tanks we don't have a lot of uh, aircrafts so tactical bomber and strategic bomber are missing I don't care at all about the strategic bomber right now what I'm gonna build up is a, a huge production of artillery infantry equipment and later on tanks but uh, for the time being we start with the first two so uh I'm gonna give a 10 on the infantry equipment, a 4 on support equipment, and then an 8 uh, to the towed artillery. Trucks are fine. I'm gonna give some trains because they are also important. And I think that now what I could try to do already, those are the. This is my preset for fighters. They are really bad. But I need to start building something if I want to. I have some air superiority at any point in time, so we give six to, to the fighters, but as you can see, we don't have factories yet. Now, I am going to reassign completely the, the army, because now I have 138 divisions. That's not going to be easy, but... Now, I can unpause and bring the speed a little bit to the next level so i have created two armies the first army group is led by the film marshal Vasily Buka, and the second one by alexander yegorov i'm having zukov konev uh, vatunin i don't speak russian so sorry if i butchered the surnames blasov and popov here we have rokosovsky and timoshenko as you can see, I have separated infantry on one side, um, mountaineer on the other, cavalry and armored vehicles, and now I'm moving them to the border. I am going to also press Shift and K, and I'm going to train my troops just to uh, start uh, generating a little bit of experience points. I don't need anything else right now. So, having a look at the construction, everything looks good. I think that I'm going also to... Uh, probably increase the amount of infrastructure where I have oil even if it's not that necessary still a little bit necessary it is oh well I think that I made a big mistake already because Azerbaijan should be probably the first one and that's it for now and then let's have a look at our oh yes I was waiting for this. So, uh, we're going to need probably two years to catch up with the infantry equipment. No, not at all. But we will need to increase the production of rifles, first of all. And we are going to need to build a lot of military factors. But first things first. Now, we're going to lead, I, I think I decided for the center. Um, it's going to be fun. We are going to lead 
with Stalin. So we are going to open a very soon the little problematic issue with uh, the purge. And having this guy in here, Yagoda, it's going to be a big pain in the butt for us. But now we were, we're going to wait until the issue uh, starts. So I'm going to bring together some fleets just to create some uh, uh, consistency. Uh, nothing super important, but I want to have not that many fleets under my command and due to the fact that I have enough oil I would start also shift uh, K uh, one fleet to generate some naval experience with the Soviet Union that's not so much important but it's also recommended to keep the fleet in mind so I should not forget it right okay, let's group also our Air Forces, Shift K. And also those guys should lead uh, should join us here in Moscow. Still, um, I see that I have some strategic bombers. They don't even have a um, replacement, but when they join us, will they manage? Wow. It takes a while. Alright, so. Now we mobilize our forces because Turkey sees the Strait of Bosphorus. And well, now we cannot pass, I think, here at Black Sea. All right. Next step, we have to go for the Stalin Constitution, which is going to give us stability, political power, and that's what we know. Right. The Stalin Constitution will affect our stability, but it will also start. Uh, actually, the political paranoia already started. It will start the process of purging all our leadership in Russia. So it could be it could be uh, tricky. But I'm gonna use all the all what I can. By the way, we need a lot of stability. Improving worker conditions could be good, but I need also this political power to increase the construction and many other things, so I need to be careful. So now how many years do we need for the reinforcements? Alright, Parada is growing. Let me check. No mouse over, for real. Then I'm going here. 562 days, okay. That's not the best one. We wait when we have um, around about 20% and then we start inspecting. Probably we start with the Navy. I'm not gonna forge any satisfactory uh, production report until I really don't need it because those are the best cheap weapon to decrease Stalin's paranoia but uh, the constitution is gonna help already minus 10 and you will see that it's gonna be uh, difficult uh, now <laughs> and yeah I, I really need to keep an eye on Stalin's paranoia you might also ask why I'm not giving any promotion right now well it's very simple I don't know which generals I might lose of course, I know that I'm, I'm going to lose to Kaczewski and another bunch of guys, but uh, sometimes uh, those generals are getting cowed by, by Stalin and uh, their statistics are really damaged then after. And I don't want to end up in the situation where I invest time and effort in one general and then this guy, is, you know, is not useful anymore. So let's let's see. So I'm having a look at who I am going to hire. And I think that the first uh, person I want to hire is Mikhail Kalinin, because this 15% stability is going to be extremely useful. Followed by Vozdazienski, which is going to help me building up the infrastructure and the factories. 
in Russia. And by the way, I'm not increasing so much uh, the Popretovsk uh, and Kiev. I will just keep the infrastructure in Azerbaijan because there I will get the biggest amount of oil for the time being. I will just then do the rest later. All right. We start the big purge now. But as you can see, the paranoia decreased and I'm very happy about that. So let's pick Kalinin first. Our stability goes up to the 53%. I love it. And now finally, I could pick... Uh, I, I take concentrated industry as Russia. Uh, because I want to push as much as possible on the industrial development. All right. And then I keep an eye here. I could also speed up to level... Five. Uh, I'm not going to do it, to be honest. I could, but I'm not going to do it. Instead, I'm going to shift K also those fleets, and I'm going to milk as much uh, naval experience as possible. Because then I translate it already here. Um, let's take the instant aggression to have more aggression chance with the naval units. You can see that I'm not getting a lot of army experience out of the training. So <laughs> that's just the beginning, so I have time, I have time to prepare all the all my next moves. So as you might imagine, or maybe not, I'm going to invade Romania and Turkey as soon as possible because I want to have uh, some um, extra territory here on the Mediterranean. I want the Romanian oil. And let's see how this thing will develop. By the way, let me see. Yeah. We're gonna have the first trial. And so we lose Mirnov, Shliapnikov, Sokolnikov, Zinoviev, and Kamenev. Okay, so our generals seem, in my opinion, untouched, if I get it right. Yeah, right. So let's have a look at our generals. They look good. And also the paranoia is back to zero. We didn't use any of those um, special actions, so that's pretty good. But now we have to wait for 175 days. So, well, well, well. Let's get a um, discount on the economy law. Securing the administration, we're getting also 50 political power um, points, which are going to invest uh, probably as a chief of army. We can already use uh, Timoshenko. That's definitely the best one, because it's making a lot of uh, experience. So, yes, Timoshenko is the way. By the way, I think that I am employing him right somewhere. Here we go. Yeah. Cavalry. <laughs> Cavalry guy. Construction is there now. Let's get the excavation to extract as many resources as possible. We are full of resources. We, mu we must use them. But I'm going to import the uh, gun for the tires. Otherwise, I were fighters will not be so efficient in the production phase. Okay, so I'm gonna get also close to an airport. We could send some... I think we could send some guys in Spain. Let's get uh, Rokosovsky. And let me say that you guys go away. We move those divisions uh, out. Do I have any other armor leader, by the way? Well, a few. Vasilevsky, for example. That's not that. And I, I ask now to the Republican Spain if they want some volunteers. Which I am sending air volunteers plus Rokosovsky. Okay, I have six uh, divisions. I just made a mistake. I'm used to play with Italy where or the divisions that I can send are top uh, three. Send volunteers again. Uh, Rokosovsky is gonna is going to fly to Spain and fight against the other bad guys. And now we have three civilian factories. I love this. All right, so. I'm going to develop all the places that have 
enough infrastructure. Azerbaijan as well, of course, because we're going to have one under soon. And we are securing the administration, which is pretty good. All right. The next step, the next step is going to be industrial. So we're going to move to infrastructure effort and heavy industry. We, we must move there. Oh, I thought that I... Whatever. Okay, our guys are here. What we need to do is take in Burgos, probably. Even if it's going to be very difficult, but we try. By the way, I didn't check the templates yet. Nah, it could be worse. Even if the organization is not the best one. It could be worse, yeah. Let's give them enough. Let's give them enough uh, uh, fuel and motivation. And let's get started because we need to try to use all our forces to get more experience, of course. Even if I'm not sure if we are going to win in Spain. Tricky. That's tricky, I guess. Okay, good. If you guys want to support me, I leave a link here in the description. Uh, you can buy video games. Uh, it's an instant gaming. It's a platform that sells key online and uh, that's totally legit. They have usually big discounts, so you can get a lot of games for a little amount of money. And I'm also gaining a small commission. So if you're interested, well, that could be cool. Of course, if you're not, that's also fine. We are still friends. Good, so now let me make, I want to make sure that I build up a little bit of organization first, and then I will try to attack. Good. We secure the administration and now we go on heavy industry. Okay, so the paranoia is back to zero. Okay, I don't need Kaposnikov yet. I could definitely increase the conscription now, but I could definitely go in partial mobilization as soon as I have 120 points. This is gonna help me massively. Yeah. Why I cannot build up some organization? I think because they keep attacking us. So, you know what? Let's just push, guys. When they... Look at, look at them. They are encircling us, and uh, Lokosovsky is just doing a lot of work. By the way, I forgot I also have some uh, fighters to bring to the fight. Okay, so I'm gonna move them to Madrid, and then give the air superiority. Then move them here. Actually, I just, I just deploy them on Lokosovsky, and then they should do the job. I mean, maybe they will move to Valencia. Let's see. All right. So now we pick the bold attack. I know with so with the Soviets, maybe I should focus on defense, but I want to play. I want to play offensive this time, and let's move here and go on the partial mobilization. This is gonna help us with. Uh, the construction speed of military factories and many other little things. By the way, we're getting a pretty decent amount of artillery, so we might change our template. Let's get. We have at the moment 32 military uh, factories and 58 civil factories. Maybe after those three. Uh, actually, five uh, civil factories. I might consider building a couple of uh, mill because I need them on the rifles. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm not building enough rifles for the war. Um, and here, what I'm going to do, I just add one RT in this template, just one. Oh, we need 2,600 artillery. I need to build up a little bit more. All right, good. I 
I think I forgot to assign. Bridge fleet. Are those ships going right? And now we can increase the Tula arms. Not bad. Guys, I hope that you enjoyed this video. We see each other in the next episode. If you liked it, please consider leaving a thumbs up and subscribing. Thank you for watching and see you next time.